Now, before we move on, I'd like to acknowledge a rare milestone that has just been achieved here, or that is just about to be achieved on this coming vote in the Senate. Our dear colleague from Maine, Senator Susan Collins, will cast her 9,000th consecutive roll call. <laughs> She has never, never missed a single roll call vote in her entire career. Who else can claim that? Raise your hands. Even the freshmen can't claim that. I, congr I congratulate Senator Collins on this historic accomplishment. It puts her in rare company in history of the chamber. So, Senator Collins and I, of course, belong to different parties, but she has the enormous respect of those of us on this side of the aisle, as well as her own colleagues. And I have been grateful for the chance to work with her in recent years on many issues. So we all have applauded her great work. I yield the floor to my colleague and friend, Mitch. Mr. President, I'd like to uh, thank the Majority Leader for his acknowledgement of this historic moment. Senior Senator from Maine, our good friend is about to cast, as we all know, our nine th her 9,000th consecutive roll call vote. Quite literally, as the occupant of the chair knows, Senator Collins has never failed to discharge the most fundamental duty of her office. According to the historical office, only one senator in history has managed a longer streak of consecutive votes. Let's just say Senator Collins is closing in on that record as well. I hope our colleague is as proud of this accomplishment as we are of her. One thing for certain, she didn't reach the milestone by accident. Senator Collins arrived as a freshman already well aware of the obligations of public service. After all, she was raised by not one, but two small town mayors. And as our colleague knows, one of those distinguished mayors, her mother, Patricia, passed away earlier this year, right as the government funding she had stewarded was nearing the finish line. It's a situation that made the tension we've all felt at times between the demands of the Senate and of family. But as always, the example of the senior senator from Maine was instructive. Poised under pressure, prepared by for any outcome and is determined as ever to do right by the people she represents. Day after day, year after year, our senior most appropriator has demonstrated through her dedication, if you do your homework, you show up to vote, most everything else will fall in line. So I'd like to add my congratulations to my good friend, Senator Collins, on this tremendous milestone. The people of Maine are lucky to have her. Mr. President, Mr. President, the Republican if I might, I, again, 9,000 is remarkable. The, uh, the Iron Senator, and she was asked by the Washington Post 12 years ago why she had never missed a vote, why she made a decision to make every vote. And this is what she said, and I quote, I think it's important at this time when public confidence in Congress is very low to demonstrate to my constituents that I really care about doing a good job for them, end quote. Well, Mr. President, for 27 straight years and 9,000 straight votes, she has delivered every single day for the people of Maine, for the people of this country. And uh, I am grateful to have the privilege and opportunity to serve with her, as I think every single one of us is, not only those who are here today, but those who have come before. It is a remarkable achievement. Uh, Senator Collins, thank you. Thank you for your record. Thank you for your example. And the chair conveys his heartfelt congratulations and pride to his colleague. Thank you, Susan, for all you've done.